Welcome to another EFHL Spotlight video, the 24th uh, Spotlight video, if I'm not mistaken, which means uh, after this one, there's only eight more teams to evaluate. This time we'll be looking at the Houston Texans, who play in the AFC South. Uh, the coach is Gary Kubiak. Uh, they play at NRG Stadium, which does have a retractable uh, roof. So at home, the Texans and their opponents will not be subject to uh, adverse weather conditions. Uh, for the upcoming season, Houston has uh, chosen a pro-style offensive philosophy and a 4-6 defensive philosophy. Uh, currently, the franchise player is Arian Foster at cornerback. Here's another cornerback franchise player. Um, offensive and defensive ratings, fairly average. Uh, stat scores, fairly average. Some nice linebacker and defensive back scores and a nice offensive line score and an above average running back score. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, pretty average across the board. Um, we look okay on, um, yeah, I've got some players in the 30s already, other than the, um, the, uh, for, than Foster. Yeah, it's looking good. And, uh, so we'll give these guys, uh, an evaluation here that they performed beautifully in warm-ups. This was another of those teams, much like the Broncos, that I was concerned uh, when I actually, uh, crafted and tweaked the bases, that they weren't very good, but that's proven to be unfounded. They're they're really good bases. So again, I feel like um, allowing these bases to to sit to stand beneath the figures for you know up to a week can can really unlock the potential you may not see immediately when you're tweaking them. Something to consider. All right, let's begin with the quarterback. Uh, I may have this mixed up. This might actually be one of the wide receivers. Um, this is going to be, because I haven't put the decals on this team yet. This is number eight, Matt Schaub. And he's also, a, you know, a middle linebacker and uh, the punter and the holder. It's very possible that's one of the wide outs. Because uh, that's running splendidly. Kind of slow, though, wouldn't you agree? Matt. He's all right coming that way. That We may have actually just saw uh, Kevin Walter, number 83. Uh, but uh, well, let's go ahead and uh, think this is the tight end. Uh, number 80, also the kicker and inside linebacker, Andre Johnson. To his credit, he stayed between the hashes, but kind of a snaky pattern. Let's see how he does this play. Okay, I believe that was just a hot spot turning him. Test again. That is quite nice for a tight end. Now we'll move on uh, to the wide receiver. This is a little confusing. Uh, this actually might be the tight end. DeAndre Hopkins, number 10. Actually, no, I believe this is the, the, the wide out. Let's see. What he lacks in speed, he makes up for in predictability, I think. He's still no slouch. Now, he does have a... Uh, a built-in curl to the right, but I've uh, eliminated that by moving him over to the left side of the base. And uh, I'm actually quite pleased with that result. Okay. Now, the other wide receiver, which this could be the quarterback. <laughs> we'll get this sorted out once we get the, the jersey numbers on him. Uh, 83, Kevin Walter, also safety. Or this could be Matt Shaw. I can tell you here in just a moment. I think that's probably Matt Schaub. Uh, but that's a... Uh, because he's a little slower than the other one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Matt Schaub. Um, it's a sprinter figure rather than an all-purpose figure, which I know my quarterbacks are normally all-purpose figures, but needs must. And uh, this is how I rolled on, the, on Houston's team here. Uh, this is 
is almost certainly the quarterback figure. I'm just trying to get a better route. Yeah, that's going to be acceptable. I mean, I don't like that bend at the end, but, you know, very rarely is a quarterback uh, going to be running downfield that far. Even as the kicker, you know, he's usually going to be on a stationary base during the return until the uh, pivot at the uh, 20 or the line of scrimmage. All right, moving on to the running backs and the cornerbacks. Uh, we'll start with 23, Arian Foster. And again, what he makes, what he lacks in speed, which is, he's not that much slower than even my very best running back. Uh, he more than makes up for. And uh, that, of course, is the, the trip wire that got him. The, 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 the best of the best are, are prone to shenanigans from the board. And that's always been true on this uh, 9092. There we go. Frankly, I feel like he's a little faster than the uh, wide receiver, which was the very first one we saw, I'm pretty sure. All right. Moving on to the other cornerback and uh, 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 running back. This is uh, number 81, Owen Daniels. He's the fullback, and uh, you know what? I'm convinced I can get a better performance out of that one. Let's see if I'm right. Get my notes straight. There. Okay, he does have a bend to the left. I know this. Let's try it again. When the board behaves, it's beautiful. And, uh, you know, I was watching uh, some V-Nut gameplay footage he uploaded. He was having trouble with some of his bases going where he knows they're supposed to go. And he's got dial bases, so. All right, moving on to the offensive tackles and the outside linebackers. Uh, I think I'm holding a 73, Eric Winston. I can tell you here in just a moment. That's actually, the, that's about the speed I would expect from a linebacker. Uh, at least an outside linebacker. It's actually a really good base. Now, pretty sure this one is uh, number 99, J.J. Watt. Let's see if I'm right. Probably the best linebacker and tackle base I've produced, which is why I put it on JJ Watt. And sometimes the board itself is going to knock him off course, but it's the base. Yeah. It's making the perfect sound, which, again, I don't know if you can actually hear that on the playback. I need to check for that watching this. And, uh, see if that's true, but it just makes the, the nicest little sound reminiscent of a of a bicycle or of a, a baseball card in a bicycle spoke. You know, just that tick -tick 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 sound as it's going downfield. Not all of them do that, but the ones that are you know the ones that run the best always make that sound. Now we'll move on to the uh, def uh, uh, the lineman. We'll start with number ninety, left guard and defensive end Mario Williams. We're not going to go all the way downfield with these because it's not necessary. Okay, as I thought. He's a little shaky on the step off. That, that makes me question whether he's going to be particularly strong. Now I have all these extra Lyman bases, a pool of Lyman bases to uh, choose from. You know, Once I go through the strength trials with these, uh, we'll be able to weed out any of the any of the wimps on the line. I don't want a scenario though where it's like with uh, uh, the the best of the best bases where there's always a pocket and it's never breached because the the bases are all of equal strength. That's that's no fun at all. 
Um, try it one more time, you know? Oh, it's a little bouncy. I wonder if he's going to fall over on the trip wire down here. Now he's all right. He's all right. Okay. And, uh, next, we have number 94, the right guard and defensive end, probably the left defensive end. This is uh, Antonio Smith. He's got quite a punch off the line, so yeah, he's going to be a strong base. He might get knocked back once the uh, primary impetus is gone. But on defense, that's good. that might get him through the line for a, you know for some nice plays behind the line of scrimmage and some sacks. He is a little unpredictable on which way he's going to go, though. Part of that's his crappy game board, but part of that can be the base as well. All right, and finally... The center, nose tackle, and long snapper, uh, number 76, Dwayne Brown, with 32 player rating points. Almost, uh, well, Arian Foster has 34, so you know, he started out with, you know, he'll hit 50 before uh, too long. If he can make some tackles, you know, and some, and some key blocks on offense. And if he doesn't... Uh, Fumble the ball on snaps. All right, that's perfectly uh, acceptable for me. So there you go, folks. The Houston Texans uh, probably gave the wrong name for a lot of these. Probably got them switched up because, again, it's going to be a while before I have the decals on these. I I've just uh, finished applying the decals, the first to pass on the uh, Patriots. So that's, you know, four teams total. There's 28 more of those teams to go. And th that's going to be my primary. Uh, concern this month. Uh, I'm not committing I'll have all the decals applied by the end of the month. There's no need to give myself that kind of deadline or, or you know, time pressure constraint. Uh, but that's what I'm working on. And at the same time, we'll finish up the evaluation on the final eight teams. And then uh, there'll be a little uh, rearranging in these compartments to get them in the right uh, divisions, all the divisions together uh, in the uh, storage compartments. That'll be fun to do. That's a, that'll be a milestone. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you again real soon.